Hi! Thanks so much for joining me today on Soap Queen TV. I'm Anne Marie from Brambleberry.com and SoapQueen.com. Today, I'm going to show you how to bust out eight soaps super fast using a mold we've never used on Soap Queen TV before. A tray mold. Da 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 da. And we're also going to be working with exfoliants, ground walnut seeds, and loofah. For our gardener soap that the gardeners in your life are going to love because it's so super scrubby, it gets all the dirt off after you've been gardening, we're going to be using two luxurious Brambleberry.com bases, our goat's milk melt and pour base and our shea butter luxury melt and pour base. For our first layer, melt 10.5 ounces of the shea butter melt and pour base in the microwave. Remember, do it on 30 second bursts because if you do it much longer, your soap might boil or burn. Now that the soap is all melted, add one tablespoon of finely ground walnut seeds. Make sure wherever you're getting your walnut seeds from that they are skin safe. Next, it's time to add color. Let's go with about six to nine drops of this non-bleeding green color from Brambleberry.com. Now it's time for the best part, the fragrance. For this layer, I'm gonna use zucchini flower. Zucchini flower smells so good. It smells like zucchini flower and truffle oil. Mm. Some other great Brambleberry fragrances you can use are lettuce, bonsai, sweet orange essential oil, patchouli essential oil. Ah, totally limitless possibilities. Now stir this all really well together. You'll notice when you're stirring that the walnut seeds are heavy and they tend to sink to the bottom. Don't worry, I'm gonna show you how to suspend loofah later on in this episode, but for now, it's totally fine that these walnut seeds are sinking to the bottom. They make a really cool effect in the finished soap. Now that everything's been mixed in, pour this into the tray mold and final touch, spritz that rubbing alcohol to make sure there's no bubbles. Once your first layer is cooled, probably about five to 10 minutes, it's time to make that second layer. Melt 10.5 ounces of goat's milk melt and pour in the microwave. Again, 30 second verse. Once that goat's milk melt and pour is all melted, add 14 drops of non-bleeding liquid green colorant from Brambleberry.com. Then add one fourth ounce of sweetgrass fragrance oil. It's a perfect complement to the fresh zucchini flower in our first layer. Stir all that in really, really well. Once that's fully stirred in, spritz your first layer with another generous serving of rubbing alcohol. This helps the layers adhere together. One final tip, make sure that this second layer is at least 130 and below before pouring on top of that first layer. If it's much hotter than that, say steaming, or if it's too hot to put your finger in, you know it's gonna melt that first layer. Now that the temperature's below 130, it's time to pour. Take your alcohol, do that final spritz to get rid of any extra soap bubbles left on top of your pour. Let this layer harden for five to 10 minutes. While it's hardening, let's prepare the third and final layer. For the third and final layer, melt 10.5 ounces of the Brambleberry.com clear melt and pour soap base in the microwave on 30 second bursts. Now that the soap base is melted, add one tablespoon of finely ground loofah. Now it's time to add the colorant. Use two to four drops of the Brambleberry non-bleeding green oxide liquid colorant. And now that that's been added, it's time to add our fragrance oil, one fourth ounce grass stain, which smells great. It smells like freshly mown grass and mixes perfectly with our sweet grass and our fresh zucchini flower from the previous layers. The trick to suspending loofah and any exfoliant is viscosity. The thing to remember is melt and pour soap base starts to harden up around 120 to 130 degrees. So the longer you stir, the cooler your soap base gets and the more it will suspend all of your exfoliants throughout the entire thing. Once your loofah starts to suspend, your soap base is probably below 130. So I'm gonna skip the temperature check. Spritz that second layer of soap with rubbing alcohol liberally. Now, pour quick. 
and spritz with rubbing alcohol again. Let this harden up for four to eight hours before popping it out. I made this ahead of time so I could show you how to release from the molds and cut. Turn the entire soap mold over. Now pull gently away at the sides to release the airlock. Do you see that? Now flip it over again and start to gently push down. The entire soap block should come out easily. <gasps> oh, look how great this looks. Do you, I mean, seriously, eight bars of soap in a jiffy. Using a sharp knife to ensure that you get really clean cuts, just cut along the score lines. Thanks so much for joining me today on Soap Queen TV, where I showed you how to make gardener soaps. Super easy, super fast, and super fun. Until next time, thanks so much and happy soaping.